Hello girls, it is Kiara reporting on day 24 of my cycle and 10, 10, 10 days past my IUI round number two. Um, and this, welcome to my TTC tag. It has taken me um, a little bit over a month to finally get this video posted and tell you girls some more background about my uh, TTC journey. So um, here goes, but before I answer my 17 questions that I have for you that I'm going to share with you ladies, I just wanted to give you an update as to how I was feeling. Um, so it's 10 days past my IUI, round number two, and the only thing that I've been feeling, except for the crazy emotional roller coaster emotions that I've been feeling from the double dose of Clomid, so it's, it's weird. I don't feel any emotional kind of side effects while I'm taking the drug, but then it's like, three days after of taking the drug, it's just like all these emotions just come out of me and it's like sad emotions. It's it's getting myself in a horrible place, um, you know, feeling like just thinking about this whole infertility, um, you know, infertility journey and getting really scared that I'm not going to be a mom one day and, and just I can get myself in a really dark place and I'm sure that the double dose of Clomid has something to do with it. Um, I'll get really upset and sad and, and just... I wasn't that much irritable this round but this one was very like crying, crying, sad. Not, not fun, not fun so... but I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay today. I'm um, just trying to take it one day at a time. So in terms of side effects, um, I have been feeling breast tenderness and my nipples have been sore, but I, so some days I'm like, oh my God, that's a sign, I'm pregnant, and then I'll be like, oh my God, and then other days I'm like, no, it's probably a side effect of the Prometrium that I've been taking, um, the, the two tablets that I have to kind of insert into myself every evening. Um, so I'm like, well, maybe that's a, one of the side effects of that drug. So I, I kind of like, you know, one day I'm like, yes, I'm pregnant. I think I am. And then other days I'm like, no, I, I don't think I am. So whereas in, and in, in last, the last round that I did, I was just like, no, I'm not pregnant. So we'll see. We will see. Um, I'm supposed to take, um, my blood test this Friday, June 15th, but um, Jason is going to be going, uh, or we're gonna, Jason has to go to the States again for business, and anytime he goes to the States for business, I uh, tag along, and, and I'll kind of, we'll spend a weekend together, and then I'll fly back to Toronto and uh, go on my week, whereas, as he works wherever he's supposed to be stationed. So um, we will be going to Denver, Colorado. So if I've got any watchers or subscribers in Denver, hello. I'm um, looking forward to seeing your beautiful state. And uh, we're gonna be spending the weekend in Colorado Springs. We'll be flying into Denver and then uh, spending Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Colorado Springs, and then I fly back to Toronto, and uh, it's back to work on the Monday, so it's nice. We make these little kind of short weekend getaways when he has to work um, uh, off-site, so it's, it's a nice little holiday for us. So I'm supposed to take my test on this Friday, but I'm going to be in Denver. So I'm kind of debating whether I should take my test on the Thursday, which I checked with the nurse and it's totally fine to take the test a day before your actual two week wait is done. So I can take it on the Thursday or I can wait and take it on the Monday that I get back 
I don't know. It's a hard decision. Part of me wants to take it on the Thursday because then I'd probably find out on the Friday if I, uh, if those beta tests were looking really good and I was pregnant. Um, because then I would know right away if I'm pregnant, oh my god, we'll be celebrating um, big time in Colorado. And if we're not pregnant, then it'd be hard. But at least I know now, like at least I know like on the Friday rather than kind of waiting. Like, and then, like, like at least I know on the Friday and I'll be away and I'll be on vacation mode. So maybe I'll deal with it a lot better than waiting the whole weekend, coming back to Toronto and then taking a test on Monday morning and then not finding out until the Tuesday, which is June 19th. I don't know. What do you ladies think? Should I take it the Thursday before I leave or take it the uh, Monday morning, um, the day that I arrive back to, with the day that I arrive back from vacation? I don't know. Anyways, so, um, oh, and then I also did experience some severe, I don't want to say like, yes, no, they were severe. I experienced severe cramping three days, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on the Sunday, so my IUI was performed on Friday, June 1st, on Sunday, June 3rd, I was experiencing some really, really bad cramping, um, and they were um, abdominal cramping, so, so like kind of, so yeah, so abdominal cramping as well as um, some anal cramping like pains and I was really concerned about that because um, I was concerned that I was feeling those pains because um, they were very reminiscent of pains that I would experience or that I experienced with having endometriosis so I was just like why am I feeling this I basically um, the whole Sunday evening was in pain um, just kind of wrapped up in a fetal position, couldn't, didn't have a good night's sleep. And then on Monday, the pain kind of was still there, but then it kind of slowly, gradually left. And I'm, I'm feeling pain-free now, other than the kind of sore, soreness in my breast. So I actually ended up talking to the nurse that performed the IUI because I was really concerned, and I just wanted to let the team know at the fertility clinic that I was experiencing some really bad pain and I wasn't sure, I didn't know what it was. Like I, I, I should like, was it because I was ovulating on Sunday and then I started to get upset because it was like, well, if I ovulated on Sunday, then the IUI is not really, it's a bust because I should have ovulated on the Saturday and the sperm can't live that long from Friday. Anyways, um, the nurse was very sweet. She basically said that clearly because I had good, like five good size follicles, I'm going to be feeling some sort of movement. Uh, so basically, um, that could have been the cause of it. Like just the ovaries working. I, I don't know. And then she was basically asking me if um, I, because she thought, well, she was like, some women can get an infection after the IUI, and she was asking me if I noticed any discharge um, that was off in color, or discharge that s didn't smell the best, or like severe abdominal pain, not cramping, pain, nausea, fever, because that could be the sign of an infection. And fortunately, I didn't feel any of that. So I don't think it was an infection, but we weren't sure at the end of the call with the nurse, we still weren't sure why I had those pains, but she was definitely going to bring it to the attention of my doctor. So that's the update on my IUI. Now I am approaching 10 minutes, so stay tuned. I'm just going to stop the video now and then I'll continue with my TTC takes. Okay, girls? Okay, stay tuned. Bye.